Hi everyone. As we get better at writing, I wanted to demonstrate Pro Writing Aid, ProWritingAid.com, which is a wonderful style checker. Microsoft Word does a great grammar check. You can go to Grammarly. Google Docs has an OK grammar check, but style is something more, something better. All right, so you go to the website, you register for the free account. They have a paid one, but I really like the free one. Um, and click Use App. And then let's say File New. Or Upload, I suppose, if you've got. Um, as it happens, um, so you give it a document. You copy paste something in, or you upload something, Google Docs, whatever. No, go away. And so I've got some paragraphs I wrote about superheroes. Yeah, um, let's not worry about those kind of styles. All right, so what you do is you click Summary. And blue is neutral like word count, red needs work, orange is so, orange yellow is so so, green is good. Okay, looks like I've got some work to do besides word count. So here we see most used words, and the and a and her and and are pretty invisible, but if you find yourself using the word superhero ten times, maybe it's time to change things up. And it's so nice that it tells you this. How easy it is to read. They tend to recommend you use shorter words and break your sentences in half if it's difficult to read. But it'll give you advice on this. And it will find the paragraphs for you. It says some of my paragraphs are easy to read and some aren't, so I should take a look. It found two overused words. That's not bad. It says that I used six could and should reduce that by one, and started three sentences with ing and should reduce that by two. Very clear advice there. Sentence structure. Variety, different kinds of sentences, is good. Sentence length is good. It wants it between 11 and 18 words. There's three long sentences that it'll find for me. Passives are the man was hit by the bus, using a was as a helper verb and making your subject just standing there while the bus does the movement. The bus hit the man would be fixing that. It says that I've got some passives, but under 25, so an okay amount. Adverbs are also weak writing. Don't tell me he walked very, very slowly. Tell me he slunk. He crawled. Make your verb do the work. L-Y is something you can search for because most adverbs use L-Y. I repeated my sentence starts three times. Uh-oh, that I should fix, right? And it's got some other style suggestions where it sees places I could simplify my clunky language. Grammar, spelling, sticky sentences. These use the top 200 words. It can be thought in many cases that sometimes I could just cut all that. It's not helping. Get to the good, interesting, unusual bits of my sentence, right? It counts my dialogues. Transitions. Do you have enough? If not, it'll let you know. It likes my transitions as it happens. Overused phrases. How many times did I say the femme fatale? How many times did I say the dragon lady? How many times did I say her husband? Apparently, all this needs some fixing.
and they've got other suggestions too. Alright, so that was just overview. The other way to use this is you pick a particular issue, like tell me about sticky sentences. And it says, rather like Microsoft Word's grammar check or something, where they are. Alright, that didn't go right. Uh, structure. Readability. This paragraph is very hard to read, but here it will, it should, highlight which, yeah. Here we see the paragraphs highlighted in red and yellow, so I can go there and fix them. So again, this works more like a um, Microsoft spell check. And this will help you find your problems and fix them. So, I highly recommend the free version, ProWritingAid.com.